In this video, I'll be going through the solution to question 30 from the 2025 Australian Math Competition Upper Primary Paper. So we are given a square with side length 45 and an area of 20, 25. And we are given these lengths to be 10 and 20, and they're asking us what is the Shagag area. So to calculate the Shagag area, we need to try and find out what this point is first. So let's start by labeling some coordinates. I'm going to let this point be the origin, 0, 0. And because the square has side length 45, we know that this point must be 45 and 0. This point must be 45 and 45. And this point must be 0 and 45. And given our lengths to be 10 and 20, we can see that this point is 20, 0. This point is 0, 20. This point is 45, 35, and this point is 35, 45. So, firstly, we're going to look at this line over here. So this line, we can see the gradient of this line is just rise over run. So our gradient of this line, the rise, the y value went from 35, from 20 to 35, this is the rise, and the x value went from 0 to 45. So this happens to be 15 over 45, so the gradient is one third. So this line here, we can write this as y is equal to a third of x plus some constant. Now, when x equals 0, y is equal to 20, so this constant must be 20. So this is the equation of this line over here. Now, we look at this line across here. This one, the gradient of this line the rise went from 45 to 0, and the y value went from 35 to 20. So the gradient is 45 over 15, which is 3. So the, the equation for this line is y is equal to 3x and then something. Now, when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 20. So 3x is equal to 60, so we have to minus 60. So now, these two lines, we have equations. We have the equation y equals a third of x plus 20, and we have y equals 3x minus 60. So now, we try and work out the intersection points. So in order to do that, we equate our values of x, a third of x plus 20 equals 3x minus 60. We multiply by 3 to get x plus 60 equals 9x minus 180. And then we can rearrange to get 8x equal to 240. So x is equal to 30. So that means... This value here is one third of x plus 20, which is 10 plus 20, which is 30, and 90 minus 60, which is also 30. So this point is actually 30, 30. Now, how is this useful? Because this is on the line x equals to y, we know that we can draw a straight line right through the diagonal, and it's going to go through this point. And now think about the area of this square down the bottom. Because the y-coordinate of this point is 30, we know that the height of this triangle has length 30. And the base of this triangle has length 20. So half times base times height, the area of this triangle is 20 times 30 divided by 2, which is 300. 
And similarly, this triangle also has area 300. And because this is 30 and the side length is 45, this height will have length 15. And this triangle up the top here, the base is 10 and the height is 15. So the total area of the triangle is half times 10 times 15, which is 75. And this is also 75. So to calculate the total area, we just add up the areas of our four triangles. 300 plus 300 plus 75 plus 75, and we get to a total of 750, which is our final answer.